So I'm going to do that in the same way for the front decoration. Um, I'm going to decide on what paper I want. So, so this was the paper pack that I used for the inside. And I've got this lovely paper pack, which I thought I might use on the front. And I'm going to age it up in the same way as I aged this, this one. So I'm going to get them all prepared. So that's... That's all the pieces dyed. I say I did it in exactly the same way as I did the other one. I've done both sides of this because I might use both sides. And that I just love how these turned out. So I re-inked my soft suede and crumb cake as well to do it. So these are fab. So I think I'm going to use this for the background and then I'll use these for, for decorating. So, this is my folio, so I'm just going to measure, I think I'm going to go in six inches wide, so that I could get two out of one sheet actually. So they are, so with them being six and a quarter, so that's what I did before, I did five and seven eighths wide and it'd be nine and an eighth so I kind of went eight and seven eighths so five and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths is what we're going for now there was a little bit of me that kind of wanted the whole of this image that's not going to work is it it's not going to work so I'm wondering if I should do this one because then we get that repeated and then we'll use this one for something else. Yeah, I'm thinking I need a little bit more. That's not quite dark enough. So we're going five and seven eighths. I might cut it off this way so I've got a nice big long strip which I might use for something else. So it's eight and seven eighths. And I've got that long strip for something, which might be useful. So then we've got five and seven eighths. And another five and seven eighths. And then we'll have a tiny little strip there. That's probably no use to man the beast. But nevertheless... We don't throw it away, do we? <laughs> so, just gonna ink round these edges. There we go. So, where's the front? That's the front, so. I want that bit on the back or that bit on the back. I think I'm going to put that bit on the back. That's got a bit of a swoosh, which will get covered on the front. But on the back, it won't necessarily. And I'm thinking that I might put some, some ribbon under this to hold it in place. Or I could put it over the top, actually. I might decorate on the back. It is a tad boring. I might put a pocket on here. Bit of that the other way around. Maybe, maybe. So, get this stuck down. Okay. 
just double checking there which was the right way up. that's the back done nicely so on the front we're going to do two pockets now the video i watched it used a like a dvd envelope that had a hole in it ain't got one of them so i used my envelope punch board again to make a, a square envelope i think i measured slightly wrong and what should have been um five by five isn't quite so that's going to go on there and stuck under the paper and then we want a longer one behind that's thinner um but it just has a hole on the um a gap on the top so i thought i might use this bit that we had left over so we'll get it to about the right height. So maybe we'll go about there. That's a straight edge. So that's nicely that way. So then we're going to cut it. Put it off there. So then let's go five and a half. Is that straight? Yep. So then let's go half an inch down this side. I don't want to score too hard because I don't want to go through the paper. Half an inch on that side. might take a bit more off actually I'm going to take another inch off so we're going to four and a half or should I go to five let's go to five and then let's score again at half an inch so that'll make them four inches wide won't it yeah quite liking that not actually got very much to attach to this it's got enough though i think has got enough so let's fold this half an inch So we're going to snip, don't know where my snips are, 
these corners. We're going to cut down one of these edges and we're going to leave one out for sticking. Glue down those, that sticks on, that's the envelope, that's the bit that will stick to that, and then that's the bit that will stick on the edge there. That's our two flaps and that goes on top like so. That is the idea behind here. Okay, so Well, I appeared to stop videoing, I'm not quite sure where we got to, but that's my envelope there ready, which will stick under that and that on the front there. So then I was taking what was going to be my sort of imitation of the CD envelope. Haven't got a circle die sort of big enough, so rather than make one that's sort of pathetic looking, I'm going to use um, one of these stitch rectangles and cut that out. But then I'm remembering that, oh, I'll have to, so it's too big for my die cutting machine. So what I'll do is I'll fold these over like so and run it through like that. So these will get a little bit creased, but it's not the end of the world. So that's that. It is not 100% straight. Not sure that I'm bothered. So that would be my envelope closed. I am bothered. I'm going to have to make another one. Okay, so I quickly made an envelope again. That is much better. I would have never been happy. Never at all. Okay, so these are going to get closed over. That's the flap that's going to go in the tuck. Yeah, so we're going to have it like that. That's going to be open. To be fair, I might take a bit off that edge. I might have it Shall I have it so it's that way. I think we'll have it so it's that way. I'll slice a bit off that. That's the tucky in bit. So we need a little bit a window sheet or vellum or something in there. Um, let's have a window sheet. So there we go. I probably need some more of this. That looks like that's my last little bit. So I'll have to remember to put that on my pre-order. So. Chop it down there and chop it down there. Oops. 
What I'm going to do, you can of course, you might have some packaging, all sorts of ways of getting window sheets like this. So then I'm going to attach it, I think, with some double-sided tape. I think that might be the best way. Gosh. I'm attaching that around. You could use a window envelope, you could use a CD envelope if you've got it. You don't have to add a window at all. I think that's a nice little touch. I will cover the back as well so that you don't see the gubbins of the envelope. Yep, that's looking good. Right, so now I need to decide which bit's going where. I think, what did I decide? I'm gonna have that. Yeah, so it's gonna go that way. Gonna go to that, to that, to that. I'll we'll have the end bit at the bottom. Yep. So we're gonna glue down these bits. We'll glue those two bits down and then that bit on the top. So a little bit of glue there. So we're going to cut a sliver off the top there, so we've got a top pocket opening. And then that gives us a bit of access then. It's not quite straight. Yeah, I'll straighten it out. Um, so I can now put square of paper in there so what we're looking at should five by five it's made for a five by five card but it's a little bit wider that way but we might not see that so if I cut something four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths we should be cooking on gas you know have to be this one so, five or four and seven eighths that's what we're going to do down to four and seven eighths there a nice little yeah look at that I think that's perfect 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 we'll come forward a little bit this is going to get covered anyway so I think that's a nice little look there so See where so we've got to put the glue around there. So I am gonna glue on these edges here. So 
not long there. And then I'm going to get through the inside here. And then that should go in there nicely. So now I can put some glue along this edge here to seal this envelope. I might put a bit of Tombow on there. So that's our envelope there with a nice back and I want to cover this back here up. I could use a mixture here because I could create a pocket so I could take the rest of that off and then a bit of that over we've got ourselves a pocket. That'll work nice, won't it? Shall I move this out of the way? I don't need that now. So let's take the rest of that off. to ink round that a bit. Okay. And then on the back of this envelope, do it that way around. Stick that down and then that on top, forming our pocket. Um, do I want it a little shallower? I think I probably want it a little shallower to be honest. So I might just lob about an inch of that. Yep, about an inch. Can I take the inch that way? So this just needs to go down the three edges. So we'll use Tombow for that. And I will embellish this further, but for the moment that will that will do. So that's ready for that. So 
this needs covering back and front as well. I'm thinking cooking on gas, just enough there to cover that. And then I could cover that maybe with the other side. So all of this needs inking, so I'm going to ink around all of the edges. So that's everything inked, so I am just going to stick this all down. Okay, so that is those sides done. So let's have a look at where where we're at. So that's going to go on there like so. Then that will get caught under there. So that's where we're at. We probably go up a little bit, actually. About there, down a bit with that. That's the way we want it. So I want to just cover that. I'll probably add a pocket here as well and a pocket here that's a pocket there and a pocket there for once a bit of a hole at the top there I think um I think I just want it at the one side can I be clever and push that down Yeah, I can. I'll just do that. Yep, that's worked. So then we want to ink down that. And then we want a little bit a little bit of inking under there. Just do a tiny little one on this side. Yeah, yeah, liking that. So cover this, pocket on that. So I'm thinking. I've got quite a bit of leftovers. Right, let's think about that in a sec. So, shall we? Shall we have a pocket with this? It's nearly the right size, isn't it? So, yeah. So we'll cut it about there. No idea what that is. That will do. It's probably about two and a half inches. It is two and a half inches. Cut that. And then we want to cut it. Whatever that was. I can't remember. Was it? I think it was three and seven eighths. Yep, that appears to be what it was. So that needs the thinking down the side. Getting all a bit messy on my desk. This is just how I love to craft. Just getting in a total mess. Let's 
a little divot there. Um, match the top, so use a two inch punch. Yep. That'll go nicely. I probably want to do the same thing on the back. So I'll get that step down and then I'll do the other one off camera in exactly the same way. So glue around three edges. So there's going to be loads of room putting things in this. I think that's going to be part three, all the tags and things that I'm going to put in there. So it could be something that's reused year on year as storing your Christmas ephemera until such time as you want to use it. Or you can store your Christmas memories. So I'm going to get that pocket done. Okay, so those pockets are added. So now I want to decorate the front. So I have this second piece here. So I've cut myself um, my square on there. It's not quite a square. So it's uh, four and seven eighths that way and five and a quarter, five and an eighth that way. And I want to cut out that. So I am going to Use this to help me. So that's like that there. And then, so we need to keep it along there like that and like that. So that is roughly where it is. Now, I thought I could use the rectangle that is a size up. And then it doesn't matter if I'm slightly out and we'll have a little bit of this showing, which I think would be quite cool because everything else is matted. So that is how I'm going to cut this. And hopefully it is about in the right place. So actually, I can lay that on there like that, put that over the top and sort of pick it up. And that's about right. So I'm going to get that cut out. Fingers crossed. So that's done. I've got a nice rectangle there. That could be a nice little journey card because it's actually got the holiday fruitcake on it. Quite like that. Back that on something. I'll use that. Now the moment of truth. <sighs> oh, cooking on gas. It's good enough. It's actually good enough. That's brilliant. So I'm going to do a bit of, bit of inking on this for it. A bit of distressing. Um, around there uh, using my brush could do with some ink on that brush Jess really
might put a bit of script around there. work. Rub it off the window sheet. There we go. Yep, I like how that's looking. It's as if we've got a frame. So I need to just ink up on the inside and then stick it down. So that's it done. And then lastly, I thought I might do a little a little thumb hole. Little, it's a two inch circle punch. It's hardly little, is it? But so that's the one I've been using. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll just do a smaller one on the back like I did with the other envelope mm. is it small on the back so I'm going to make this front one a little bit bigger because I kind of want a distinction between them. There. Yeah, liking that. And then we'll just finish off the inking. Around there, because obviously I'm going to put a tag in there. Or a journaling card or something. I want a little bit of... That. So that is all ready now to get glued together. So I'm going to glue that one to that one and then go under there. So So we on it. So up, pull up. So now this is going to get stuck. Uh, it will get stuck down there eventually, but I'm going to stick it to this first and then stick all that down there. Truly stuck there. Uh, 
and that can now get stuff on there. That is a little bit not where I want it. But it'll be fine. So now I'm just going to glue this. to the edges make sure we're at the right way because that would be an absolute disaster wouldn't it if I now stuck this upside down So there we have it. I will bring you part three with maybe a slightly tidier desk, but probably not. And in part three, I'm going to decorate like this on these bits and hopefully have time to make all the tags that are going in. I probably had a pocket here as well. Definitely had a pocket here. May add one on the back. And then we've got tags to put on the front. So actually still got quite a bit to do. Um, need a little bit of glue down there, it would seem. Um, so yeah, hope you're liking it so far. And um, so we've had two parts. If you missed part one where I did this, go and check it out. And um, so I will be back again shortly with part three.